Hello everyone, Drew here with another installment of Drew's Corner. Today's installment is going to be, you know, something a little bit different. Uh, something kind of happened to me today that I thought, you know, it's, it's probably worth sharing in all honesty. Um, so I voluntarily decided to drive a family member for eye surgery. Nothing serious, it's just a routine thing in the medical field, so it's no big deal. Um, so of course the wait is a bit long and it happened before noon and naturally I was going to get a little bit hungry in the process. So being mindful of the time and making sure everything was going to work out anyway, I decided to head down to the nearby subway to get a sub and drink for just, just under $15 ish. And, uh, so I sat down in there and I had my lunch and thinking, you know, this is probably just going to be a normal day, no big deal. And where I ended up sitting just happened to be facing the counter. So while I was eating, uh, two young First Nations people walked into the restaurant and one of them was wearing a backpack. And it looked like they were brother and sister, but I obviously couldn't tell for sure. So I don't know, but just my guess. But anyway, the male patron went over to the refrigerator and grabbed a pop, and uh, then he proceeded to wait near the register, which is you know, technically the wrong side of the line. You should kind of go on the other side and work your way through. But I thought, you know what? It's probably not a big deal. It's just a drink. And uh, what's the point of waiting through the whole lineup when you just have one item anyway? So no big deal. And when the cashier had a moment while serving others, she decided to serve them, and the male patron gave her what looked like a small handful of change, and she counted the change and said that it wasn't enough. I assume what happened is that he said that he has a discount for First Nations people, and she responded that, uh, yeah, she incorporated that, and she included that in her discount, and it costs $3 and change. So... The male patron seemingly got angry and turned around and stormed out with the drink. And the cashier said that he had to pay for that drink. But obviously he just kept going and he was basically gone. So, yeah, that happened. And the female patron, who was with him at the time, uh, looked confused and seemingly asked the cashier, like, what happened? And the cashier then explained what happened. And at this point I thought, you know, that the female patron is probably going to sort things out, give her the difference, and everything will be cool. That's not what happened. And instead what happened was that the female patron proceeded to spit in the cashier's face. As she stormed out, I shouted, Really? <laughs> Which is probably a reasonable reaction to this, if you ask me. <laughs> I mean... I get that inflation has been out of control for the last while and the price of everything is going up. So are you really going to tell me that the price of fuel, the prices set by soda co the soda company and Subway afterwards is somehow the cashier's fault? Come on. This doesn't even get into how unjustified it was to commit the theft and assault in the first place. <laughs> so... Now, in this situation, there's a lot I can't control. I can't change what happened in the past. The police aren't going to devote resources to find the perpetrator of the theft of a $3.50 drink. And what's more, police will adamantly tell you to not get involved when you see a crime committed. <laughs> so I wasn't exactly going to chase them down and tackle them to the ground and call them scum for what they what they did. Uh, still, I, I wanted... I, I really wanted to do something to make things better. So she, the, the victim, uh, went to the back and uh, she was getting clearly getting cleaned up and whatnot. So I just, you know, gave, gave it a moment to cut things to kind of settle down a little bit. And I finished eating. And then afterwards I got up and uh, went to the cat, to the uh, counter and I uh, asked for the person that got spat on. And what I did was I held out a $5 note, kind of like, kind of like this. And I, and I said, I wanted to give her a $5 tip. 
and the staffs like the the staff's eyes just lit right up and one of them just kind of went to the back to go get her and when she came out I explained that she didn't deserve what happened to her and I wanted to tip her five dollars and she kind of her face seemingly embarrassed and proceeded to decline the tip and I asked her like are you sure and she said yep yeah. so I said okay and I kind of put the money away and uh, I didn't want her to feel any more embarrassed by any of this so I thought you know what I wanted to give the message that there are good people out there in the world too and I think that message did get across so when I went to collect my things to leave one of the other two people eating there that told me that it was a nice thing for me to do and I just said yeah it just seemed like the right thing to do under the circumstances and I think the object lesson in all this is that there are a lot of things you can't control in life, so control what you can. And I thought, and if you if you want to make the world a better place, definitely seize the opportunity to do so. And to the staff at that Subway restaurant, I know it's a down, it's in the downtown core, and it isn't exactly the most pleasant place in town, so. Uh, still, I, I hope that that was the last time you had to deal with something like that. I really do. And so, yeah, I guess that's uh, kind of wanted to, what I wanted to kind of talk about today. Uh, so if you like this channel and you want to support us, there are plenty of ways you can do that. You can drop us a like and let us know, hey, you're doing a great job. Keep up the good work. If you want to further help us out, you can subscribe to the channel and turn notifications, get real-time updates on what videos we've posted. And if you have already have a million notifications, it is, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. You can also you can just subscribe and not turn on notifications because a subscri subscription will help out this channel a lot. You can also check out the website, freezenet.ca, and has all the latest in news, music reviews, video game reviews, no paywalls at all or anything like that. It's all free for you. And you can even check out our wiki so you can research music yourself in a completely unfiltered manner. So how cool is that? And uh, if you want to more directly support the channel, you can also check out our Patreon page, patreon.com slash freezenet. You can, you can subscribe to a tier and get insider information on what stuff we've been up to. You can even have early access to our podcast and some other stu cool stuff too. So that's pretty cool, right? And if, you know, Patreon is your thing, you don't want that commitment of, you know, constant, like a subscription thing or whatever, don't worry, there's another way you can do that. You can help us out uh, financially. You can also uh, check out our coffee page, coffee.com slash freezenet, and you can do a one-time donation. And mm -hmm. either way, we'll make sure every dollar does count. It'll go towards the YouTube channel, it'll go towards the website, and it'll go towards our podcast. So I guess that is all for now, and until next time, keep it cool.